This is an installation instruction video for the 0.9 meter antenna. The antenna must first be taken out of its packing and placed on a flat clean surface with the reflector facing downward as depicted. The antenna comes with an antenna support box and an OMT radio interface in the packing which is accompanied by installation instruction manuals as shown. The antenna support box and the OMT unit must be taken out of the packing and placed close to the antenna. The antenna support box consists of clamps, nuts, bolts and other important components which are used to mount the antenna. The OMT radio interface is a dual polarized interface that is attached at the back of the antenna behind the feeder. We first place the pivot bracket on the antenna and fasten it using one piece of M10 cross 40 screw and two pieces of M10 cross 30 screws as demonstrated. The screws are fit and tightened with the finger. And the pivot bracket is aligned with the base of the antenna. Then we mount the M10 link screws using two pieces of M10 cross 30 screws as shown. There are two link screws. The screws are fit loosely. Then we mount four pieces of M10 cross 120 screws to the pipe attachment bracket as depicted. The pipe attachment bracket is now mounted on the pivot bracket using one piece of M10 cross 120 screw and fastened using an M10 flange nut. The screw and the nut are fit loosely. We now use two more M10 flange nuts to fasten the link screws to the pipe attachment bracket as shown. We now proceed to check if the screws are fastened. Now we place, we start to mount the OMT radio interface unit on the feeder by ensuring that the guiding, guiding pins go straight into the guiding holes on the antenna. The OMT radio interface is dual polarized and it must be noted that the OMT can be mounted with vertical or horizontal polarizations positioned optional to the left or the right side depending on the axis and the cable mounting of the special radio equipment. The OMT is fit to the antenna 
using four pieces of M10 cross 25 screws and two pieces of M6 cross 20 screws as shown. The four pieces of M10 cross 25 screws are tightened with a 49 nanometer torque and the, the two pieces of M6 cross 20 screws are tightened with a 7 nanometer torque. We now proceed to mount the antenna using clamp brackets on the pole mount. The clamp brackets are first fit to the four pieces of M10 cross 120 screws using four pieces of M10 flange nuts. They are loosely fit and it is ensured that the antenna points along the radial link path. Once this is done, the nuts are tightened using a torque of 49 nanometer from a torque wrench. Now the 0.9 meter antenna is assembled and mounted and ready for use.